Welcome to this GiftWorks video. My name is Steve Faithful. This is the fifth of an eight-part video series talking about how easy it is to import information into GiftWorks. And in this video, we're going to be talking about mapping your fields to GiftWorks fields as part of the import process. To do that, we're going to get started by signing into this GiftWorks database. I'm going to go to the settings area, go to database and maintenance, import and export, import a file, and I'm going to choose an Excel file to import. click the next button click the next button once I've verified my data I'm gonna leave the default options and it's gonna bring us to this mapping screen or this assignment screen it's a screen in which we take the fields that you're providing to us in your Excel file or your access database or your text file and you choose where it's gonna go in GiftWorks this screen at first glance can be a little overwhelming so why don't I break it down into three easy parts the first part is on the left hand side under the column your import fields you'll see a list of fields that are contained in your Excel, Excel file your, or your text file or your Access database. In the middle, you'll see a sampling of the data that's contained within your source file. And I can use these arrows at the bottom to navigate through the actual data that's contained in there. Sometimes seeing the actual data is a little bit more helpful than just seeing the column name. It gives you a real life sample of what kind of data you're talking about. And then this last column is the GiftWorks fields column in which you, by clicking on a link, you'll see a list of categories and then within each of those categories there's a list of fields that you can map. I'm going to move the video over a little bit so you can see it. And so if I click on each of these links you're going to see a category and then under the category, so under donor name, you're going to see a list of fields that pertain uh, to the donor name. The, uh, the donor's direct name, their first, middle, last, suffixes, prefixes, salutation and addresses, etc. And then also at the bottom, you might not be able to see that real well, the spouse information as well. On the donor details, we'll see things like uh, when they were created, the donor create date, their website, contact type assigned to, donor source, donor category statuses, um, a, a, a bit of their professional information, etc. Under donor address one and donor address two, you'll see fields that all relate to their donor addresses. Um, uh, some people think that because we show you show you donor address one and two, it means that donors can only have two addresses. That's um, actually not true. You can have as many addresses in GiftWorks as you want. For, uh, for each donor, but during the import process we allow you to up import uh, two addresses, up to two addresses at a time. So just keep that in mind. Under a donor address you see a bit of information about the address including things like delivery point code, country, etc. Under phone and email you'll see information all about the phones and emails where the, uh, we provide predefined names of phones, things like home, mobile, business, etc. But remember, once again with phones and emails you're able to um, enter in as many as you like and you can even um, uh, alter the name of the uh, the label of the phone number. So, for instance, if you don't want this to be called home phone, uh, you can provide an alternate name for it by providing the name of the phone and then the actual phone number. So keep that in mind as you uh, as you choose your fields to import. Um, under donor notes, you're able to import donor um, actual a note per donor. So if you want to provide a note, a title, and then a text for the note, that will import and be part of the do donor's note notation history. And then we come down to donations where we see right now we'll see up to 15. I'm not sure if you can see it on the video. Let me drop it down a little bit. You'll see uh, under donations, you'll see up to 15 donations at a time. Keep that in mind. It's not um, donate 15 uh, total donations. Um, it's 15 per donor at a time. Um, so you could, on subsequent imports, you could uh, import up to 15 more for the same donor. So um, you can continue to uh, import as many donations as you like, uh, but up to 15 at one time. And under donation, there's a plenty of fields regarding donations. Things like the date and the campaign, fund, receipted information, acknowledgement, um, payment information, etc. So there's a lot of fields. And while I'm here pointing out a number of fields, let me also point out another area that you can uh, begin to look at, and that is under the, let me scroll up a little bit, under the help menu, click on help. You'll see up at the top there's a print the GiftWorks import guide link. And then on each screen as you're going through the import, you can also find um, information that's uh, appropriate for what you're uh, trying to do as part of the import process. So right now this, this help will provide import uh, information about mapping or assigning your fields to GiftWorks fields. Uh, that Gif GiftWorks import guide that I referred to contains helpful information like uh, a listing of the fields that, were that you're able to import into GiftWorks um, and also some explanations on uh, what are some best practices. So for each of these uh, fields that in my Excel file, I'm going to want to go ahead and, and map them to a field within GiftWorks. I'm going to go ahead and begin to do this, and while I'm doing that, I'm going to uh, just make a mention that 
Uh, one of the most important parts, certainly, of this process is making sure that you put the right information in the right place. And that's certainly going to uh, require you to take some time, not only to get to know uh, your information, but also to get to know the information that's available to be imported into GiftWorks. And that might take some time uh, to go ahead and actually look at all the fields that are available in GiftWorks, maybe work with uh, donors a bit or work with donations a bit to try to see what uh, kind of information you're able to import. So that as I'm coming through here now and I'm um, simply and quickly choosing fields that I want to import, um, it's because I, uh, I know where I want it to go and it may take some time for you to get to that point. So I'm going to come down. I'm going to come down to donations now. I'm going to begin to map the donation fields. Let me move the video a little bit so you can see me mapping them. Donation 1, I'm going to choose date, and uh, donation 2, donation 1, again, amount. And then I'm going to go move on to my second donation, uh, which is donation, I'll just choose donation 2, date, and then donation 2, amount. Um, I'm going to come down to some um, other group information. On a subsequent video, I'm going to be breaking down uh, some of these, some of this uh, mapping a little bit more. I'm going to be going through things like uh, I have some group information here. I have a custom field. I have a whole name that I'll need to break apart. And on a subsequent video, I'm going to be doing that. But for now, I'm just going to ignore these fields. I can choose this Do Not Import option, which will simply ignore these columns. I don't have to import them. If I had a whole series of fields that I didn't want to import, I could simply click this Ignore Remaining Fields button here at the bottom. Um, I'm going to move my video back up. And I'm going to come down. I'm gonna, I am going to map my email address that you'll notice at the bottom under under donation phone email I'm just going to choose email address one and so I now I've mapped these fields now I've taken I've taken some time to do this and if you've taken some time to do it as well um, you may be doing it as, as part of a test maybe you're just testing your uh, import to see if it's going to work maybe you're just trying to see if you can get it, some data to come into GiftWorks and uh, you may want to repeat this process. Maybe you're going to go through it a couple times, just do a quick sampling of data. Maybe you're going to, maybe you want to set something up to do this on an ongoing basis so that every week you can import sort of the same data. Well, one of the things that we've provided help to you to do that is the Save Import button at the bottom. The Save Import button at the bottom will simply allow me to take the all the mappings that I've I've, um, I've done here, all this these, this assignments of fields that I've done here, and I can save them to a file. Um, it also saves some of the other options that I've chosen as part of the import process. So if I click the Save button, it's going to bring up a save screen where, where I, can, uh, I can provide a file name. And um, I'm just going to call it Tour Video Import. And it's going to save it as what's called a GiftWorks Import Configuration File, or a .gic file. And so once I save that, Tour Video Import, it tells me that my import configuration has been saved. And now at a later time, I can come back in just a moment. I'll show you how to do that. So you'll see that uh, I've mapped all my fields. Um, I've taken the fields that exist in my Excel file and mapped them to a place that they need to go in GiftWorks. Um, you can click the Ignore Remaining Fields button to uh, ignore a number of fields. And if I wanted to reset all these fields, I could go ahead and click the Reset button. Um, and then I can save my import using the Save Import Configuration button. Um, now I am going to cancel out of this import. And I'm going to begin the process again. And it brings me back to my import and export records screen. And I'm going to click on the import a file link. And instead of choosing um, instead of choosing my source file again and going through the same process, I want to show you how I can use that GIFWorks import configuration file that I saved a moment ago. If I click here on this link, it says if you want to use a previously saved GIFWorks import configuration file, I can click here, which I'm going to go ahead and do. And it just wants to me to load this tour video import.gic file. Once I click open, it loads that. I click on the next button, and you'll see that as I come back to my mappings, all my mappings have been restored, and uh, I'm ready to continue. So you'll see how fairly easy it is to take your import fields and map them to where they need to go in GiftWorks, how you can uh, save your import to save progress or to save it so you can repeat this process. Uh, in a subsequent video, I will be talking about more functions, uh, uh, more features that are available to map within I give work some special things like groups, custom fields, talk about payment types, and some other things. And we'll talk about some other uh, features within the screen, uh, specifically this copy link and this modified import fields button. So I hope that this uh, overview of the mapping or field assignment has been helpful. Trust that it's going to help you uh, have a successful import. So thank you for watching this video. And uh, thank you.